While the electromagnetic catapult system aboard the U.S. aircraft carrier USS Ford continues to struggle for compatibility with the F-35C stealth fighter, how do China's Fujian-class carrier achieve electromagnetic launch and recovery for three types of carrier-based aircraft, the J-35, J-15T, and KJ-600 in one fell swoop? Moreover, how did it beat the world's most powerful navy to conduct the first electromagnetic catapult launch of a fifth-generation stealth carrier-based fighter? This breakthrough not only signifies a redefinition of the air-sea power balance in the Western Pacific, but also reveals profound differences in the military-industrial development paths of the two nations. Through technological leaps in medium-voltage direct current integrated power systems, China has achieved electromagnetic catapult stability on conventionally powered carriers that even U.S. nuclear-powered carriers have yet to fully master. Its mean time between failures, MTBF, reaches 1,500 cycles, far surpassing the Ford Class 400 cycles. The electromagnetic catapult breakthrough on the Fujian Class carrier stands as a pinnacle achievement in modern naval engineering. On September 22, 2025, CCTV released footage showcasing the Fujian's electromagnetic catapult launching the J-15T heavy fighter, J-35 stealth fighter, and KJ-600 early warning aircraft in succession, demonstrating far smoother performance than the U.S. Ford-class carrier's catapult system. Notably, the electromagnetic catapult dynamically adjusts thrust based on aircraft weight and size, delivering a customized launch curve for both the 30-ton J-15T and 5-ton unmanned aerial vehicles. The core of this technological breakthrough lies in the medium-voltage direct current system, developed by academician Ma Weming's team. Each launch consumes only 30 kilowatt-hours of electricity, equivalent to running a standard household air conditioner for three hours, completely overturning the Western assumption that electromagnetic catapults require nuclear power. Compared to traditional steam catapults, Preparation time has been reduced from 15 minutes to 45 seconds, boosting daily sortie capacity to 180 flights, and significantly enhancing combat efficiency. The synergistic combat value of these three carrier-based aircraft far exceeds the simple sum of their individual capabilities. The J-35, as a fifth-generation stealth carrier-based fighter tasked with seizing air superiority, boasts a radar cross-section of just 0.01 square meters, one hundredth that of the F-18. Paired with the PL-17 missile boasting a 150-kilometer range, it achieved favorable exchange ratios against the F-22 during adversarial exercises. The J-15T heavy carrier-based fighter can take off fully fueled and armed, extending its range and combat radius while increasing its weapons payload. Leveraging its large payload capacity and extended range, it can execute saturation attacks against enemies possessing formidable strike capabilities against both maritime and land targets. The KJ-600 fixed-wing early warning aircraft serves as the carrier strike group's eyes and brain, featuring a 7.5-meter diameter radar dish with a detection range exceeding 650 kilometers, effectively tripling the carrier group's operational awareness radius. Together, these three elements form a comprehensive combat system of stealth penetration plus heavy load strike, plus long-range warning, granting the Fujian carrier battle group a generational advantage over Nimitz-class carriers. The divergent paths of Chinese and American carrier development are particularly evident in this comparison. China bypassed the steam catapult stage, achieving leapfrog development directly to electromagnetic catapults. This asymmetric innovation strategy enables conventionally powered carriers to attain core capabilities traditionally associated with nuclear-powered carriers. Notably, as a conventional carrier, the Fujian rewrites the conventional wisdom that electromagnetic catapults are exclusive to nuclear carriers through its medium-voltage direct current integrated power system. In contrast, despite decades of experience with steam catapults and the early commissioning of the electromagnetic catapult-equipped USS Ford, the U.S. Navy has encountered numerous technical challenges regarding system stability. The U.S. website Wartsony has acknowledged that beyond operational experience, America holds no other advantages in this domain. The future deployment of carrier-based drones has become the next critical step in enhancing the capabilities of the Fujian aircraft carrier. Electromagnetic catapults can precisely control launch force, enabling drones of all sizes to take off from the carrier via catapult launch, thereby making the carrier's operational modes more flexible. Technologically, the Fujian has already paved the way for drone integration. Its systems intelligently adjust thrust to deliver, custom-tailored, launch curves for everything from the 5-ton Attack 11 UAV to the 30-ton J-15T fighter. Given China's technological leadership in unmanned systems, 
the Fujian will likely deploy attack anti-submarine drone squadrons, forming a coordinated combat system between manned and unmanned aircraft. This manned-unmanned synergy will fundamentally reshape naval warfare, enabling carriers to execute more complex missions with reduced risk. The reshaping of the international strategic landscape has accelerated with the successful launch from the Fujian. Theoretically, U.S. military bases and assets between the first and second island chains may no longer be entirely secure, while the Chinese fleet's ability to penetrate beyond the second island chain has significantly increased. The operational radius of the 48 aircraft carried by the Fujian now encompasses the entire territory of Guam. Notably, the deployment of the YJ-21 carrier-based variant grants the carrier strike group precision strike capabilities against targets 3,500 kilometers away. This forces U.S. B-2 bombers to withdraw to Hawaii for safety, marking a decisive turning point in the Western Pacific's military landscape. Concurrently, U.S. amphibious warship shortages have reached a critical threshold. Half of the 32 vessels in the fleet are in poor condition, further eroding America's military presence in the Western Pacific. A historical retrospective intertwined with future projections unfolds a grand panorama of the Chinese Navy's development. From the smoke of the First Sino-Japanese War to the humiliation of the South China Sea collision incident, from the bittersweet sight of General Liu Huiking tiptoeing to observe a U.S. aircraft carrier to the current pride of three types of carrier-based aircraft appearing together, this represents not only breakthroughs in military technology, but also the tangible realization of a century-old aspiration for a nation. The next phase of the Fujian's development draws keen attention. It is anticipated to carry two squadrons of J-35 carrier-based fighters, two squadrons of J-15T carrier-based fighters, one squadron of J-15DT electronic warfare aircraft, one squadron of KJ-600 early warning aircraft, and one squadron of attack anti-submarine drones along with 8 to 12 helicopters of various types, totaling approximately 70 to 80 aircraft. This configuration will enable the Fujian to achieve a maximum daily sortie rate of 300 aircraft, three times that of a ski jump carrier, significantly enhancing battlefield firepower projection capabilities. The Fujian's success transcends mere technology, embodying a paradigm shift in China's innovation approach. Transitioning from catching up to leading the pack, China has traversed in 13 years, the carrier development path that took the U.S. five decades. While the U.S. grapples with electromagnetic catapult malfunctions on its Ford-class carriers, China has achieved operational deployment of electromagnetic launch systems through an innovative combination of conventional propulsion and medium-voltage direct current. This outsmarting brute force approach not only reshapes the technological roadmap for aircraft carriers, but also demonstrates to the world that in 21st century technological competition, innovative paradigms hold greater sway over outcomes than mere technical specifications. As the commissioning of the Fujian aircraft carrier approaches, the Chinese Navy's strides toward the deep blue are accelerating. The integration of carrier-based drones with electromagnetic catapult technology will undoubtedly redefine the rules of future naval warfare. The electromagnetic launch trajectory of the Fujian carrier mirrors the ascending curve of national rejuvenation piercing not only the horizon between sea and sky, but also the shackles of the old international order.